All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, day five. Uh, round five, here we go. Uh, we got today, this is called casking. This casking stuff is, it's tough to read, but um, yeah, it's a 20 pound DuraBlend monofilament leader. And so DuraBlend sounds to me like it's a copolymer. Looks like there's gonna be a mixture of two types of nylon material, 20 pounds. And this was uh, $10 for 120 yards. So it's about 12 cents a yard. And that's actually more expensive than this, the Vanish that we've already tested. This was about five cents a yard. And this performed really, really good on the last test surprisingly good so this is the best fluorocarbon for abrasion that I've tested so far and it's the cheapest so it's gonna go up against the casking copolymer and I'm picking this one because it has a 0.4, 0 0.40 millimeter diameter this also has a 0.4 millimeter diameter so they're the same diameter so should give us a pretty good indication, right? Here we go, same setup. We got, you know, weight around, We're gonna go up and down, come back here, and then it's gonna go on underneath the plate, and we'll film it. I'm thinking that this might be the last test for this type of setup for a little bit, and we'll kind of summarize all the previous tests that we've done before. And we'll see, you know, try to compare them. I didn't keep the same exact style of test as I went on, you know. I kind of adapted a little bit as to what would be a better test to kind of get a truer sense of what was going on. So unfortunately, some of the beginning tests were not the same as some of these later tests. But uh, we'll see. We'll see just in general how it went. All right. So to start off, as you can see, we're actually going to do the plate first. And uh, the reason I did the plate first, I just really was so curious to see if the Vanish could beat this at the plate. You know, the one test where the Vanish was not beating mono yet, I wanted to see if it could beat the, the Cast King. So again, the reason I chose the Cast King was because of the diameter. The diameter is the same to the Vanish, and when I went to go and look for some research on this stuff, I really couldn't find much at all. It's pretty much the only two places you could buy it online were at Amazon or Walmart, and really there weren't many reviews on the Walmart, but on Amazon there were some reviews, mostly good. Uh, however, I checked with the review meta. Meta.com, which kind of you know looks at Amazon reviews to see if you know they're really real reviews, and there was a little bit of funny business that they found, showing that you know some of the reviews got deleted, and you know there's a surge of reviews on one day, and so it was a little suspicious. Um, and yeah, it wasn't cheap. You know, I think it was actually. One of the more expensive monofilaments that I tested. In the intro, I think I said 12 cents, but I really meant 8 cents. So, still more expensive than the Vanish, which was 5 cents. But, anyways, uh, as you can see, you know, I had a, a good test there at 33, but there's a couple here where it just kept failing at two, two or three pulls. So yeah, not a very great start for the Cast King, and as you're going to see here in a minute, um, it did not perform as well as I thought it would. Here are the results. So as you can see in the beginning with just the raw data, 
the Cast King did come out ahead, but it had that 33 in there. So when you take that 33 out, the fluoro actually wins on the sharp edge test, which is the first time that fluoro beat mono on the sharp edge test. So it's very close, though. I would probably call this a draw just because of the, uh, you know, the raw data had it leading. So because the Vanish had a close value on the sharp edge as the previous day, I just tested it once for the smooth side and the coarse side just to see if I was getting, you know, similar data from the day before. And if I did, then I would move on and only test the mono the uh, seven times. I just added the value that I got to the day before's data, and that's where, how we compared the two. So these next two tests went pretty much as expected. Uh, the Vanish did beat this one on the smooth side by a greater margin than the coarse side, but it beat it both times. Um, I will say that this cast king did perform pretty good though compared to other monofilaments for you know both the smooth side and the coarse side. Uh, they, it did have pretty high numbers for this. Um, and it really does make me want to revisit some of the earlier tests of the Andy monofilament and the blue label where we didn't you know we didn't have all three of these tests we only had the coarse side and you know it wasn't we didn't just have as much data so you'll you'll see that in the summary at the end of this video uh, you'll see a summary of you know, pretty much all the tests and we'll try to come up with a you know a general theory on why things are happening but yeah the the beginning tests definitely need to be uh, revisited I think so here's a final tally for the smooth side and you know, as you can see, the 225 that I tested on this day for the fluoro added to the the uh, previous day's numbers, and it was the largest outlier. So we took it out along with the 110, and we came out at around 72% more for the fluoro. So moving right along with the last test of Cast King versus Vanish. Um, yeah, this is the first test for the Vanish Floral. And again, just like last time, I did it once and if it got close to the values as before, I just said that it was gonna, you know, pretty much come out to the same. So we just added this value to uh, the day before's data. And then went along and tested the seven tests for the mono only. So in general, I think this uh, mono, you know, just the way I was tying knots with it, and the way you can see it here, kind of bunching up a little bit, uh, it's you know, it does still fly material through the water, but it does bunch up as well. So you know, it, it resembled a little bit more closely to the Ozeri hybrid. I think um, you know, it's probably like a slightly denser. Uh, monofilament uh, with the two nylon materials. Here's the final tally for the numbers, and you can see, you know, although the Cast King did have some some good values there, it does not 
beat the the Berkeley Vanish. I took out that 121. That was the test one from this day. Uh, that was part of the outlier. It was the highest value for the Vanish. And when I do that, you know, we get roughly 35% um, better or more more strength for the floral. Here we are with just a uh, close up of the smooth side that I'm testing. And here's the coarse side. I measured it approximately to be 220 grit and 120 grit if you compare it to sandpaper. And here's the summary for all the tests that I did. As I mentioned, I think earlier in this video, I didn't get the full three tests for the first Andy monofilament versus cigar blue label. So I think I want to revisit that a little bit later to get a fuller table here. But as you can see, I outlined or I colored in red some of the values that you know weren't so great compared to the other values and any values that were really high or good uh, I colored in green and yellow is kind of representing the the next best from green so yeah I guess you know I don't really want to say too much about a conclusion here on anything because you know this is not a whole lot of data and you know it's not super scientific but it does appear that there's a little bit more going on than I originally thought and what I mean by that is the fluorocarbon does seem to have a better or equal abrasion resistance when it comes to a more smoother surface and the opposite is true when the surface is very sharp it seems that the monofilament seems to have a better resistance I think you know as I said before I think it kinda like bounces off a little bit maybe and the other thing I would say is that the more expensive the line doesn't mean the better abrasion resistance it has if anything it's actually the opposite but this could be different when it comes to knot strength so that will be the next thing that we will start testing so stay tuned for some not uh, testing videos.